Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things crypto-related, unknown, paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and welcome back to another Demon Days. We're going to be talking about different demons, starting off with the demons of the Goetia. Also, sorry I'm a little bit nasally right now. My allergies have been killing me lately. Um, but we are on our 20th spirit so far, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and today we're going to be talking about another king, actually, which I'm very, very excited to share with you. The fourth king of the Goetia. Um, King Person, and this is him right here. He's a very cool looking dude. And let me show you his sigil. And again, for those of you that want that don't want to see a sigil, skip ahead a little bit in the video when the sigil's not on the screen. But this is his sigil. Oh my gosh, that's huge. That's huge. But this is a sigil right here. It's very cool. I kind of like the the little pitchfork kind of looking thing there. I really do like that. And I just I just like how it looks. This one's also very aesthetically, ple very aesthetically pleasing, and I really do, I really do like it. I really think this is a cool sigil. So with that out of the way, let's talk about King Person. So King Person appears as a man with the head of a lion, riding a bear, and carrying a snake that he uses as a whip and a trumpet. So we kind of see that here in his. Um, Dictionary infernal artwork that I have on screen uh, right here. Um, very cool picture. Really do like it. Um, I always love this artwork from this book because the, the the attention to detail is just so fantastic, and I love it. So that's pretty much what he looks like. He controls twenty two legions of demons, which honestly, for a lot of the kings that we've seen, doesn't really seem like a lot, but it's still a, a respectable amount. He is a part of the Order of Thrones and the Order of Virtue. So he used to be one of the Christian God's angels. And then when he fell, he went down to hell and everything, allegedly. And that is, and he is still part of the virtues and the, um, and the thrones and all that, which is still very cool. Um, he hides and reveals treasures of the earth that have been hidden by the Christian God, which is very cool. So maybe, I guess, like, treasures, maybe, like, the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail or the lance that pierced Jesus' side or the, maybe even the Garden of Eden. Things like that. It's very cool. Um, he can help you find or he can hide those things as well. He knows the past, present, and future. He gives powerful familiars. He truthfully answers questions of all things human divine, um, things of earth, and the creation of the world, but will cause people who seek his knowledge to ask questions with answers they cannot handle. So he will help you out, but some of those questions you might not be able to handle them or comprehend them because um, human minds are so limited and everything. We can't process everything, so it might like overload you or you just won't be able to completely understand it. Um he is the demon of divine knowledge. His personality is helpful and knowledgeable. His tarot is the three of swords. His element is earth. His zodiac is Libra. His dates are October 3rd to October 12th. His color is yellow. His direction is west. His planet is the sun. His metal is gold. And his incense is frankincense. And that is all that I have about King Person. So if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. Comment below, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far. I always appreciate the support as well. And it will help the algorithm out a little bit as well. Um, I don't know. I'll see how I feel this week. Work's got me kind of weird this week on schedules. But I will see how I feel um, allergy-wise. My allergies have been killing me the past, like, almost about a week. Um don't think it's COVID. I haven't been coughing. I've just been really extremely congested. It's probably either allergies or just a summer cold, but either way, I'm fine. So we will see how that goes. Um, so I'll try to get some videos up this week. If not, just please understand and just be patient with me. Um, but yeah, um, next week for Demon Days, we'll be taking a look at the 21st spirit of the Goetia, President Morax. And I'm very excited to show you that guy as well. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I will see you guys in the next Demon Days. Take care, guys. Bye.